Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. They all satisfy the same recursion. Um, so, you know, if you define n choose k to be the number of k element subsets of an n element set, um, and then you also look at um, x plus y to the n, right? And let's look at the um, coefficient of x to the k. Um, actually, let's just do x plus 1 to the n, because it's like the same thing. Like, you can generalize it by putting a y in there also, but let's look at the coefficient of x to the k, right? Well, notice that, like, in this product, so this is going to be the coefficient of x to the k from x plus 1, x plus 1, all the way up to x plus 1. You have n of these, right? n total. But how many ways can you get a coefficient of x to the k? You choose, chose, choo, choose k of them. So maybe I'm going to choose. You choose k of them, right? So you're choosing a k element subset of an n element set. In this case, the n element set is this, 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 so on and so forth. Right. And the k element uh, subset is, well, just some of them, right? Yeah. And then the number of ways to choose that k element subset is the number of times that you get an x, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you add them together. Yeah. I guess I should be more clear. We're choosing x from the k, right? And we're choosing 1 from the others. So that when you do that product, like, yeah. Right. right yeah. Because right. think about when you distribute it, you have to choose. When you do the distributive rule, you're going to take this x and multiply it on this x and this one, and then so on and so forth, yeah. So that's why that. Why Pascal's triangle? Well, it goes like this. Notice that this is the same thing as... Uh, number k minus 1 element subset of n element set. So let's say we've got x1 up to xn minus 1 and then xn. Let me see if I can get this right. No, it goes like this. K of an n minus one element set. So, like, look, you can break this down into um, x one to x n minus one union x n. So let's see, number of k element subsets of an n minus one element set. So these are going to be all the subsets um, that don't contain x n, right? All the ones that don't contain x n. And then we want all the ones that do contain xn. But all the ones that do contain xn um, are going to only have k minus 1 choices, right? Because you can choose only k minus 1 things if you've already chosen xn, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the number k element subset. So, sorry, k minus 1 element subset of n minus 1 element set. So these are all the ones without xn, mm -hmm. right? Without xn, you only have n minus 1 things to choose from. You have to choose k of them. This is the ones including xn, right? If you've chosen xn, you only have n minus 1 things to choose from, and you're only ha allowed to choose k minus 1 of them because you've already chosen one. But now observe that this is uh, n minus 1 choose k plus n minus 1 choose k minus 1. But now if you make Pascal's triangle, mm -hmm. like, so if you make Pascal's triangle, let's say that these are two entries in Pascal's triangle, who's right below that? That is n choose k. Yeah. Um, I feel like that. So that's that why. Right that's so cool. makes it make that's sense. Cool. Yeah, that's. Just because of our, our rule. Yeah. It's all connected. Yeah. <laughs>
Ooh. Ghosts. Numbers are numbers. All right, let's do some problems now.